Hey, Speed Demons, let's check out some picture cropping basics and tricks here in PowerPoint to help get you to happy hour. Now, this quick little PowerPoint tutorial, I'm going to show you your basic picture cropping tools and where to find them. I'm going to show you how to crop to shapes, circles, triangles, explosions, etc. And then I want to show you how to crop to the different aspect ratios entirely within PowerPoint, which is the trick to moving from a photo like this that doesn't fit full screen on your slide. All right, you can see all this extra room and extending it out so that it does fit full screen. So a full screen visual image is definitely the way you want to go. Um, the one downside is that the people or objects of your photo are going to get a little bit bigger as you do this cropped aspect ratio, but I'll show you that you can even work around that. But first off, let's just get started with the picture cropping tools. And the very first thing you should be aware of is not to, I've left myself a little note here, not to ignore selecting your picture, all of the picture tools format command options available to you. There's a lot of hack trickery that you can pull off in PowerPoint with your shapes, pictures, and whatever, but you're never going to beat a default tool if Microsoft has already set it up for you. So I highly recommend really exploring around in these tools if you're brand new to PowerPoint. Now for your just normal picture cropping for right now, I'm just going to click crop. This is all you need to do, and you're going to get these black handles on your photo. So first off, you can just start to resize these any way you want. You can hold the shift key, which is going to lock the aspect ratio to make sure that you don't um, accidentally lose the size and shape of your photo. Once you've selected or cropped down to an area you like, there's two things you can do. You can either just come up and click the crop button again, which will have the picture cropping area take, or as you're cropping, if you just hit escape, so I'm resizing my crop area. If you just hit escape, hitting escape is the keyboard shortcut to have the cropped area take. Now, once you've set a cropped area, which is another little basic trick to be aware of, you can, of course, move the picture around within the frame. So although it looks like you've cropped the photo down until you compress this picture. So if I hit escape until I come up to the picture tools format tab and select compress pictures and I actually select delete cropped areas, this photo is always going to maintain all of that cropped area that I've already set. Now, besides just one little last um, trick here, besides moving this around yourself, you can always, if you want to move in smaller increments, simply right click the photo, come to format picture. You want to come to the picture options and you want to open up this crop flywheel. So this offset X and offset Y is how you can just click up and down if you don't want to move it around manually yourself. And again, the way you get there, just right click format picture picture little icon and open up your cropped options. I usually just use the offset X and Y, but you can play around with some of these other features. So those are your basic cropping tools. Next, we'll look at cropping to a shape. So technique number one of three different techniques. The first technique is you just select the photo, picture tools, format tab. If you come to the crop drop down, you just have this simple option to crop to shape. So if you want to crop to a triangle, for example, it's going to use your whole picture area as the crop area to set that triangle. And you can, you know, adjust the shape just as you normally would using these um, yellow fly bars or handle wheels. Now from here, again, you can just hit the crop button and you can see your entire photo is still there. So you could move the ladybug around. You could resize the ladybug if you wanted uh, the triangle. If you want the ladybug to be in the center of the triangle more, you could do the right click and use the offsets again. So this is one way to do it. But if you're really just trying to capture the ladybug, instead of coming up to the crop drop down and cropping to shape, a faster way is probably, if I come to the next slide, is to use the intersect command. So intersecting a shape out of your photo. And the way you do that is you simply come to the insert tab, come and find the shape that you want. I'm going to find this stars and banners explosion eight points. And I'm just going to draw it over the ladybug where I want the ladybug to be. All right. Just keynote here. You want to select the picture first, then holding shift, select the shape picture tools or drawing tools format tab. You just need to come find this merge shapes tool. And you're just going to select intersect, which is basically going to cut out the shape with the photo. All right. So now you have the ladybug with the explosion picture tools, format tab crop area. You can still see it's just cropped down to that area without you having to do all of the manual adjustments yourself. So that's the intersect command. Now there is a third technique. All right using power cropping your photos, which I will cover in another video. But this for right now, cropping to a shape using the crop drop down or using the intersecting a shape command, which is that merge shape tools is your first way to go. So this is the kind of the more basic stuff. Now from here, let's talk about cropping to an aspect ratio. All right. And this is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to leave this original and on slide number 11, I'm going to crop to aspect ratio. And all you need to do picture tools, format tab, crop drop down, 
you have cropped aspect ratio, which a lot of people forget about. So if you're working with four by three slides, you're just gonna come to landscape four by three. If you're working with a 16 by nine slide like I have here, you're just gonna select 16 by nine. And you're gonna see the PowerPoint is automatically gonna start to crop the photo to what will expand full screen on my slide. So immediately you can tell that any kind of slide or picture with a lot of sand or a lot of sky background is gonna be uh, or work nicely for this technique because it gives you a lot of room to move around with. So if I want more sky in the photo, I'm just gonna holding shift. I'm just moving the photo down within the cropped area. I'll hit escape. Once it's been cropped like that, PowerPoint has cropped it and all you need to do, I'm just holding the shift key, is just resize the photo and it's going to fit full screen like that. And again, the only downside of this is there is the original woman walking down the beach, all right? As I move to the next slide, you can see that she gets a lot bigger. So in this case, because she was so far away, it doesn't make a difference. But if you were doing a photo like this with Steve the scuba diver who already takes up the entire photo, using that same 16 by nine technique, all right, Steve the scuba diver gets huge when in reality, you probably wanted something more like this. So this is creating that full screen visual image from Steve the scuba diver and then floating my content content over the top. So here again is the original photo. Instead of resizing the photo here, I've built out around the photo using a variety of full screen visual picture techniques. So taking non full screen images like Steve the Scuba Diver and cranking them out into a full screen visual image, which if you want to learn more about how to do that. Check out the links below for my full screen visuals course here in PowerPoint. If you're new to my channel and want to keep up to date on my latest PowerPoint hack trickery, so PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks to help get you to happy hour, make sure you subscribe here in the lower right-hand corner. If you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets, free video series, or other cool PowerPoint resources, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.